النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith that the Almighty Allah, the hadith which is narrated by Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Almighty Allah looks at all the creations on the middle night of Sha'ban and he pardons and he forgives all his servants except a person who associates others with Allah in worship and a person whom between him and others there is dispute, discord, fighting or severing the relations, especially if they were family members or relatives or neighbors. So the Almighty Allah says, delay them until they reconcile. But in brief, because we have discussed this several times before, the Prophet وسلم, never prescribed any particular act of worship extra on the night of the middle of Sha'ban. Nor did he prescribe a specific supplication or number of rakahs or number of adhkar. So if you're one of those who get up to pray at night and alhamdulillah you get up to pray my prayer, may Allah bless you. Whether you pray four rakahs, eight rakahs, 20 rakahs, and then you pray with you. As for the middle day of Sha'ban, it is anyway sunnah to fast on the 13th, 14th, and 15th of every lunar month in order to earn the reward which the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised Abu Huraira with when he said, Awsani khalili bi thalas. My best companion have enjoined upon me three qualities. The first is to fast for three days every lunar month, 13th, 14th, and 15th. The second is to pray duha, the forenoon prayer. And he did not mention a specific number of rakahs. But it is between two to four, two by two. And the third is to pray witch before going to sleep. 